friends welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for scorpio sun moon rising and venus let's get right into your reading scorpio let's see what spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month of september going into october how are you guys feeling how are you feeling scorpio a lot of energies, a lot of things going on planetary-wise. It's been a bit chaotic. All right, so right at the center, we have Mercury and Trine. So as you guys know, we recently entered the retrograde, and there is everything to do with communication. There may be some type of blockages. Um, for some of you guys, you could experience this as... Uh, trying to communicate with the partner and the partner not being able to uh, receive the message the way you wanted to it for it to come across. So it could be a very high tensions in regards to uh, how you express or how you communicate, or this could be the energy of your partner as well. Uh, perhaps a little bit more aggressive than usual, uh, not being very patient or very tolerant. Now we do have here the fourth house. Um, some of you guys may be dealing with situations of the partner's family, or uh, this could be your partner dealing with some of uh, situations in regards to your family. A lot of um, a lot of healing is happening right now. You have the fourth house as well as the eleventh house, and they're both a shadowing Mercury energy. Um, so the fourth house is all to do with the home. It's all to do with family, with roots, with um, with the home life and with the 11th house i feel like it's amplified or it's a being amplified uh, a lot of healing energy this is the edge this is a representation of uh, collectively um what it is that we need to get done to come together collectively as a family to help heal or to help us get through a situation uh again like i said that may be affecting currently the family um, now you also have the fifth house, which speaks to us about relationships and passion, and you also have healing here. Um, so again, I feel that there's a lot of healing energy for some of you guys. You may be dealing with a, uh, partner that has either a family member, someone that is currently going through, uh, some type of, um, health issues um and i feel that as we progress into the end of september there's going to be major uh major restoration of energy so again if you are dealing with as an example if your partner uh if your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife's side of the family is currently going through some type of health issues uh, i feel that by the end of september that's quickly going to either be restored or you're getting to the point of restoring that type of energy feeling more content or feeling more at ease because that's not such a strong uh, uh, there's not major blockages in that regards and that's something that you probably are already dealing with scorpio now, you also have, like I said, healing energy here with the 11th house being amplified. Um, this is speaking directly with in regards to your partnership or in regards to your relationship. If at any point you've been in a situation where there's been um, any type of physical abuse or mental abuse, I feel that some of you guys are coming out of that or being aware of it and trying to cut uh, that pattern of attracting or being attracted to people that have a tendency of either taking advantage, um, being physically or mentally abusive towards you. And there may be some lingering here, some lingering energies of the past, um, kind of like uh, knowing exactly what it is that you want and what you don't want to deal with anymore because you're coming out of this with healing or putting yourself back together. Fifth house is very highlighted, so this is speaking directly for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. I feel that the work has been done, the healing has happened, or you're currently going through that, and you're being able to put yourself together to then be able to pour that love into you, to believe more in yourself, to be more confident in yourself, and to allow the universe to bring to you the person that is most ideal for you. I do see flow here 
here and this is a representation of uh, you know energies being harmonized but it also speaks about uh, beneficial energies uh, this is joy or being able to enjoy indulge uh, give yourself that peace of mind give yourself that peace uh, if you've been overworking or if you've been really hard at uh, working in a project or working in, in a relationship perhaps that has been having a lot of ups and downs what they're telling you is that in the present time you have to uh, let go of control and surrender to this process just keep in mind to be a little bit more patient than usual Scorpio because with Mercury being retrograde communication is definitely going to be affected uh, this can also be for those of you guys that are single, this can also represent uh, the person that you're dealing with or the person of your interest may not be very receptive or communicating to you. Uh, some of you guys, perhaps, uh, they're not texting as quickly or they're not returning your calls, etc. And this probably has to do, again, with the Mercury retrograde, retrograde sorry, um, as well as the 11th unhealing energy. So they themselves could be dealing with a lot of traumatic uh, experiences from the past that they're trying to currently heal from, okay? All right, your final energies the energies that are currently influencing you at the present time storm i feel that you guys are coming out of a lot of confusion coming out of a lot of chaotic type of relationships feline is that connection to the animalistic side to you embracing it or not shying away from it uh, for some of you guys perhaps you recently uh, started being more attracted or being pulled towards some type of uh, being able to be a little bit more athletic, whether it be going to the gym, whether it be taking care of yourself, whether it be yoga, anything like this that pretty much zens or helps you zen your body by the release of tension or release of energy. Um, and, and this is definitely very positive. And finally, we have love energy. So I feel that you guys are currently going through a transformation, transmutation of energies from past experiences to get to where you're at right now and to be able to prepare yourself to receive love, to receive a new person coming into your life or to receive uh, unconditional love and not to settle for anything less than that, uh, not to settle with toxic partners, not to settle with people that have a tendency of being very mentally abusive or even physical abuse. Um, so very beautiful healing type of energy for you guys for this month going all the way to October, the beginning of October. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon. Bye.